Take me out to the ball game. Hi, welcome to your Canise 205 instructional video on the proper fundamentals of a baseball swing. Today we'll be doing three basic swings. Number one, the fence drill. Number two, the T drill. And we'll also be doing the short to contact drill. Now during these drills, you'll hear my voice narrating on the do's and don'ts of the proper swing. Now our first drill we're going to do is called the short to contact drill. This drill is designed to teach the hitter, number one, how to keep a short and compact swing to the baseball, and number two, the correct contact point to make contact with the baseball. Danielle's going to demonstrate both the do's and don'ts for this swing. Now the first thing she's going to do is one of the many incorrect things that the kids do when they're performing this drill. And she's gonna let go of the bat too early. Now, she's gonna begin her swing, and right about here, she's gonna let go, and it's gonna cause the bat, instead of going straight, the bat's gonna go at an angle toward the fence this way. Go ahead, Danielle. So there you have it. Danielle just demonstrated what happens when you let go of the bat too early. Now we're going to demonstrate what happens when you hold on to the bat too long. At about this contact point, she's going to release the bat from her hands and it's going to go at an angle in that direction. Go ahead, Danielle. All right, so Danielle's demonstrated two incorrect ways of coming to contact with the baseball. They're going to lead to more fly balls and a lot of grounders to third. But now she's going to demonstrate the correct way. On a pitch down the middle, she'll make contact about right here. When she releases the bat, you'll notice that it goes perfectly in a straight line into the fence. Go ahead, Danielle. All right, now the second drill we're going to do is called the fence drill. This drill is designed to teach the hitter how to keep a short, compact swing and keep your hands close to the body. Now Nick's going to demonstrate the incorrect way to do this drill. What I want you to focus on is his hands. You'll notice that when he goes to swing, his hands will get further away from his body, therefore causing him to hit the fence. Go ahead, Nick. So you've seen the incorrect way of doing this drill. When his hands get further from his body, they hit the fence. Now he's going to demonstrate the proper way. Notice his hands. They stay close to his body, therefore misses the fence and makes better contact with the baseball. So now we're going to do the third and final drill called the T-drill. Of the three drills we've done today, it's the most complex and it gives the most realistic perception of what you're going to see up there at the plate. Now Grant's going to show you the incorrect way to do the T-drill. I want you to notice the positioning of his front hip and the rotation of his back foot. Now if you notice, his front hip came forward over his front foot, which is going to cause him to get on top of a lot of balls. His back foot is not fully rotated. We want a 90 degree angle with the back knee and a good, a good base with the front leg. So Grant showed you the incorrect way to do the T-drill. Now we're going to show you the proper swing. Notice his hip positioning and the rotation of the back foot. This is the perfect swing right here. We got a good firm, firm front leg. His hips stayed back. All they did was rotate. They didn't come forward. And we have a full rotation in his foot with a 90 degree angle of his leg. So now you know three drills to help you improve your baseball swing. We hope you enjoyed it. And remember, put these drills in your training schedule and you'll become the hitter that you've always wanted to be. Good hit, Grant. Swing, bada bada swing, bada bada swing, bada bada swing, swing, bada bada swing, bada bada swing, bada bada swing.